right hello guys how are you um in this video today i just want to show you how uh, you answer questions of this nature this is a past exam uh, typically this is a past exam question so without wa wasting much of our time let's just dive right into that okay so the instruction was to download an excel file called bookings and then perform all the codings in the workbook so um, this is the task that was supposed to be done actually here they are saying code the solution to the problem as required in the email there was an email up there but everything has been summarized here so they are saying write a vba function and sub procedure to support internal audit in recalculating and verifying revenue for game drives the function procedure should calculate the total amount charged to customer using hard-coded constants for each game drive price per adult and per child to ensure con consistent revenue calculation across multiple divisions not in accordance with the okay revenue okay this is not really necessary but it's very important <laughs> okay Additionally, develop a sub procedure to automatically compare the recalculated revenue against the coded revenue on the booking sheet. This sub procedure should populate it, uh, the, the, the titles co uh, correct revenue in column M and so, yeah, and price difference in column N. It should then populate the calculated values in each row within these columns. Any rows with the discrepancies should be highlighted to assist the internal audit team in presenting accurate findings. The code will be reused in future for what, what, what. Okay, no marks will be awarded for coding functions and commands not covered in these two um, modules. Okay, so in short, what they are saying is you will have an Excel file like this. It's the one that was supposed to be downloaded. So they are saying when you code in VBA, uh, you should write your code in a way that it should populate a, a title here on M and N, right? And um, they are saying the title uh, should be correct revenue, that is for M, and um, price difference for in column N right then it should then do the calculations if we say correct revenue it should do all the calculations calculations for correct correct uh, revenue and then all the calcul calculations for price differences and then fill in in all these rows so that's that's the thing that is supposed to be done so in the email they i think they've specified that there should be a button to use but most importantly i think is the code so i just want to show you how you write the code so the first thing is to familiarize yourself with uh, the d data that is given make sure you understand each row each column and and just get a glimpse and overview of what it's all about and then after that you can then uh, perform the task so to do so, you should go to developer tab. This is where you write your code. There are students who are still struggling to even see where the code is or a way to put the code, right? So you need to go to developer tab. If you don't have this developer tab, you just have to look anyway in the ribbon, right click your mouse, go to customize the ribbon, and then come here and check this developer button. So if it's unchecked, uh, this is where you can see if I press OK here, you will not have a developer uh, option here. So if it's not there, right click here, customize ribbon, then check this box, click OK. You can see the developer tab is there. Let's proceed developer, then go to visual basics. Then from there, this is where you need to create a workbook. Um, a module I mean so to create a module just go to insert yeah then module 
this is where you write your codes. So even when you want to look for, let's say you have been sent, uh, someone sent you a macro enabled document and you want to see the codes, you go through the same procedure, it's developer, visual basics, then you check for the module, it will be a, for now this is our module and there is nothing in it. So um, I, I just want to make this video short, so I'm not going to do a lot of things here, except to just paste the code, I have it already. This is the 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 the, the code that I've wrote for performing that particular task. So it calculates, it do all what have been stated. But of most important here, there is an error because it mustn't be, because here it must state the sheet, the exact sheet that we're dealing with. And of which if you come back here, you can see that we're dealing with bookings. I mean, if we come here, you can see we're dealing with booking, so you, there, there is need to rectify that part um, to bookings. Then, then uh, we can show you the structure of it. Mm, so here we are setting worksheet to the correct sheet. We are actually making sure that um, it's pointing to the right sheet. Then from there, uh, we need to define the constants for the game, for the game drive prizes. So these are the ones. I think you all not understand this part. Find the last row in the column. Then we also need to set that a last row. Then uh, populating the, heat, the, 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 the titles, the headers, we also have uh, this code for that. Loop each, right, for looping. Then calculating the correct revenue. So we have used these um, formulas to calculate the correct revenue. Um, actually, we have um, created this variable correct revenue, variable correct, uh, 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 variable correct revenue, and then we assign to this entire calculation. Then uh, calculate the difference between recorded, then write the correct. Oh, it's perfect. Uh, then we end this up. Okay, so yeah, all is perfect. Once it's done, then you need to save it. I will have another video where I will teach you how to code into this and explaining this block of codes in detail. But for the meantime, I'm just showing you the procedure of opening the thing and dealing with the codes. So you will need to save. So as you save it, it will tell you this. Click no so that you can be able to save this as a macro enabled document excel macro enabled workbook then save right once it's done then you can leave this part in or if you don't want to leave anywhere you can just go to this part in. then click alter and f8 then a, a pop-up window like this will come up and then select if there are so many modules that you have created obviously you will have uh, so many macro names so in this case we only have one so by default it's selected click run as you can see it's highlighting the columns is also populated everything working perfectly if you want to make sure it's, it's it's right in this way you see it's showing so where the difference is zero it means the calculation was done properly where it's not zero it means there is an error and it's highlighted so you see it's highlighting everything so now we have column m and n which was not there it has populated so if they say maybe you you were supposed to or um, besides using uh, alt and f8 for running this they might say maybe use a button to run the code. You can then just um, use shapes for that. It's easy. Insert. Then look for shapes. Shapes. Then look for something like a button like this. And then click it. And then draw it any way you want to place it. Then add text into it. Um, let's just say click me. But you just have to put or calculate or update or whatever what or check let's just say check it's a quick check 
right you can align this i don't want to waste time uh, uh, dealing with issues of designing and what what but if you want to align just align it to center if you want to identify this you can click on it then format designs format designs if you want to make it more like a button green stuff like that you can do a lot of things but that's not the issue we are dealing with right now so once um it's done like this the next thing is to connect this button to the macro that we have created this one so we need to connect the button to this so the process of connecting is quite simple let's get back to this you just have to right click your button then you go to assign macro then there is it then you click ok then it's working now if you go back to this if you click it it's working it's a boom so that's how you were supposed to do and take all the marks eh? as simple as that then you get all your marks okay thanks guys and thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video